Hi, this is Jacob Anderson, and this video is the first step in tearing down your headstock, removing the motor from the headstock casting so that you can work on everything. So first of all, you have to take off any accessories, your saw blades and sanding discs and whatnot. Take it off the bench is how I like to work on it, and I've got a separate video on that. And then there's just, <clears throat> most machines are just two screws holding on the belt pan cover. On the old greenies, you can have as many as seven screws. So they were kind of a pain to take off and replace, so I just pull straight back. On the back is a uh, port cover. This one was missing its port cover, so you just would snap that off. Or On the newest ones, there's a screw at the bottom. You unscrew to swivel it up out of the way. <clears throat> and then I like to remove this front screw first on the motor pan. Then remove, I like to take the switch out so that it's, re, it's attached to the motor instead of reaching in and disconnecting the leads. I like to just keep the switch on the motor so I can test it all. Alright, now I like to flip it like this. And then there'll be four more screws holding the motor pan on. A lot of machines are missing screws and or clips behind it. And now everything's pretty loose so you can just <coughs> move the belt up and out of the way. And you can see right here is a problem. This shiv is stuck open. It should have snapped shut. So that's part of this guy's problem, is stuck shivs. So anyway, now we have the motor separated from the top part of the headstock, so we can test the motor, work on the motor, fix this, tear down the rest of it, and investigate what's wrong. So take a look at the next videos about headstock teardowns. I've got four parts to that, and I've got uh, various hit, uh, videos on the uh, reassembling <coughs> parts of it, troubleshooting the various parts of it, and then backwards putting the motor back on. So there's lots of videos for you to look at. So go to my website for tons of ShopSmith headstock information, access to all of these videos I've talked about, and access to my web store which has lots of information. Uh, other videos are available, manuals, troubleshooting guide, my DVDs, various parts that I sell for headstock repairs, even a few tools. All right, thank you.